Hi there, don't forget to subscribe to us and turn on the notification. Right now, it's all about incompetent YBs on the RSS with HD Extended. video conferencing dengan uh, dengan WHO eh 500 negara eh 500 negara eh 500 negara eh there we have it uh, it's been a, a one heck of a week or actually one heck of a month uh, is something that we'd like to probably touch upon uh, you're here with me Rashid Saleh and Harish Dill on the RSS we face the extended and of course as usual the man who will be giving us all the uh, info Mr Gary Nunes, Greg Nunes, sorry. No, I, I wonder, wonder why we're saying Gary. Maybe it was just a, a football reference. How are you, Greg, and how's it been? I know you've been um, uh, really, really upset this past week. You can tell in your writings in, on 2213. What's happened? Well, like, like the title of the show is Incompetent YBs or Young Badots, as I call them. <laughs> but they are... And I, I think I did mention that you are worried, right? That you may be out of a job soon. Yes. Yeah. Too many jokers out there. <laughs> oh dear. So, yeah. um, so basically, um, we've been pretty much a laughing stock. Let, let's 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 uh, let's talk about you know because we we're, we're going to have the end of the uh, of the it's the final week of the uh, uh, um, movement yeah. control order. So is it? Right. Firstly, let's talk about that. Is it right, Harish, to, to call it off or should we extend it uh, as our ministers uh, and uh, our elected uh, representatives keep messing up as well? Well, it's not for me to say it should be extended or not because it really depends on the uh, uh, figures and the statistics. And I think uh, the, uh, the Director General uh, of uh, um, our health ministry said that uh, if we get single digits, then perhaps uh, the MCO will be lifted. Now, um, to go back to the title of our show, Incompetent YBs, um, I think it's come beyond um, laughing matter. And, and, and seriously, I, I, I can't laugh anymore. You know, Rashid, I can laugh at your jokes um, over and over again, but, but I can't laugh at this simply because um, it just shows the level of uh, maturity and the level of uh, you know, thinking that we have among the decision makers. And yes, one of them is actually uh, uh, the health minister, uh, Dato Adham Baba. I, I, I really don't know what, I, I really don't know what is the criteria, how was he even made a minister or even a politician to begin with? Now, um, there you go. Um, Greg, so, um, yeah. you know, this, that's this, like a speechless moment there. I know, I know. I, I didn't know what to say because <laughs> after seeing it, then you see Greg, is, he's totally speechless. I mean, yeah. uh, we've, we've had so many cases. Can you write down? I mean, you, you've got a whole list. You've got, uh, yeah. uh, tell, I mean, we've, we've had uh, the Dato Sri Rina Harun talking about Doremon. Uh, Doremon. We've had uh, uh, Dr. Noraini. I mean, TikTok, yeah. where, 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 but, uh, explain that one. Back. Mm. Yeah, but before we go back to what Harry said about single digits, uh, the past week has been actually very good because six out of the seven days we had double digit of new cases, and uh, there's only one death uh, on Monday, which was fantastic. But then we went up to three deaths, so it's fluctuating. The good news is the number of cases have gone down, but we still haven't reached the safe uh, comfort zone of one digit of cases, and also they're not testing the people in the uh, enhanced MCO areas, the numbers may shoot up after that. So that is the scary bit. Because if you look at Singapore, then they're getting what, 1,000 over new cases almost but the last four days, and majority is from the uh, migrant workers. So I'm just worried that our numbers might shoot up if they do more testing in those areas. Okay. Well, you know, look, they, um, going back to the incompetent ministers, mm -hmm. uh, um, there are so many. <laughs> where do you want to start? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, like you said, there's a whole list, but uh, the 
Okay, to cut a long story short is that why are they being allowed? That's what I'm, I'm upset about. I mean, okay, you say that they have to go and see their constituencies, they're going to deliver food to them. Okay, fine, that's as a, maybe as a minister you want to do that. But then you don't sit down and have a meal with them as the deputy uh, health minister. Mm. He did that. He, he said he went to visit this uh, re- religious school. Why the school is open, I don't know. But he said he went to see them. And then they had a meal. Pictures were, were circulated. And then the police chief says that they were ha- at the safe distance. But those who saw the pictures can know that they were not in the safe distance. Yeah. They, were, they were having food. I don't know how his, the police chief's calculation is about safe distance if you look at the picture. <laughs> uh, so he also needs to examine how he's got elected as uh, the police chief as well. Yeah. Right? <laughs> then, I mean, we it, also it, had... It's opening up a can of worms, isn't it? Yeah. And then we had uh, the guy who had his so-called birthday party. I think you remember him. Yes. Uh, he said he was, he was going to Putrajaya for national, uh, what's it called, and NSE, it's a security council meeting. Mm. His supporters came to wish him well. It was his birthday. So they brought the cake. So he didn't have the heart to turn them away, so he cut the cake and did all that drink. So it's not a birthday party. They came and surprised me. But the point is, okay, yeah, supporters are coming. You do your cake cutting. Why the, why the hell do you put it on social media? Do it quietly. Don't, don't piss us off. No, I, I think, yeah, I think great. Here. So, so, yeah. so, sorry. So, so, sorry. I, I, I have to say, say this. It's not about doing things quietly or, 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 or not doing things quietly. I think the thing here is that why are you even doing that to begin with? Yeah, the thing yeah? is that they, yeah, and they, then you, they shouldn't and do that. They shouldn't do that. But they did it. Uh-huh. So it's already been done. Don't put it on social media. And you know, have have you noticed? Yeah. Have have you noticed the? Uh, it's not just the government uh, 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 issue, eh? The YPs yeah. within the government. We've got uh, those on the uh, opposition as well, who yeah. once upon a time were ministers, and they are going around giving uh, uh, handouts yeah. 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 Uh, in groups. Right. Why? Why? Why do you need a group of people to hand out stuff? You you can do it on your own. One person. I I know for a fact that this happened in Panama, whereby mm. one person just goes out. Hence, the thing at the doorstep and walks away. No one takes a photo opportunity. No one. That's it's thing. not about a photo opportunity. It's not about you know uh, a, a publicity stunt. It's about if you want to help, just do it and all right. that's all. It, it's as simple as that. So yeah, it is a joke. It's a mockery. The, I, I'm sorry for using strong words, but yeah, they they are a joke and they are a mockery, and we are expected to listen to them. Exactly. I mean, that's supposed to be. Uh, we I thought. We had gone through this, you know, the past year and a half with with the the, the past government, where they are, you know, they are they are now known as elected uh, representatives, and and the word elected is is you know strongly used nowadays. But you know, we're going. We're, are we seeing again one rule for 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 us and one rule for our elected representatives? Where will it end? Because people are getting upset. They said, if they can do it, why can't we? So. You're going to get that kind of you know mentality now, and people are going to be fighting. And we should be focusing on COVID nineteen rather than than this. But they're they're hampering things and making things even worse. So where where who should be making these decisions? Um, you know, should this be addressed by the prime minister or, or by by the cabinet? It's been very quiet. They should. I mean, he should because it's uh, these are his ministers. It's not. Some from uh, Cam B or Cam C, it's he he elected those guys and girls to be the ministers. He set in place that so you can't do this, you can't do that, and they are doing it. And the worst thing is, yeah. not been arrested, they have not been handcuffed like the look like the normal folks. Remember that Chinese guy, eighty year old guy who got arrested for violating violating the MCO. Mm. He was lining up to get food. So he he is poor. He has no money, and you find him one thousand ringgit. That's the logic in that. Mm. I mean, if he has money to buy food, he probably won't be lining up. And you charge, and you and you find him one thousand. Luckily, the people, a lot of guys and girls who read the stories, they actually donated to his fund to pay off the fine. Mm. But where's the logic? He has no money. He's lining up for food. Okay, I find him one thousand ringgit. Then you got ministers in their uh, chauffeur-driven cars, their luxury sedans or vans or Alphards or whatever uh, vehicles they drive. They get off with just, oh, I'm sorry, 
sorry is no cure mm. we we are suffering the the, the i'm saying i'm getting very upset <laughs> we are suffering because we are stuck at home we are following the rules and i'm calling them idiots are breaking the rules and getting away with it and not just ministers a uh, former dpms uh, doctor is doing the same thing and she's going around oh i'm doing it because of religion hello <laughs> follow the rules first Yeah, I could see. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you need to let all this out because I could have seen that all his writings this week has just been. You know, usually he's. You've got a bit of humor in you, but it's it's become very. I mean, is it? It may be because you know you've been caged in for caged in. There we go. We've been inside for so long that it's been quite frustrating. And I know one one issue. Maybe we we will discuss it. Is is the mental health issue of of being inside for for so long as well. Harish, I mean, you yourself, uh, you had a few things that you wrote. I mean, this morning, what did you 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 wrote something uh, which was quite an uh, interesting as well? Can you tell us a bit? No, it's that? not me. It was actually our um, uh, senior copy editor, Puris Alam. Right. Uh, he, I mean, uh, we need to drown this negativity. We need to drown the fact that we are surrounded by uh, idiots. I wouldn't use that word, but yeah, Greg <laughs> just said it. Um, yeah. So, so we need to look at. Um, Inspiring moments, and uh, like it or not, um, I know they have been a subject of uh, abuse uh, in recent times for the uh, double standards uh, when it comes to VIPs and the average Joe and Jane. However, there are some acts that our police, uh, you know, uh, policemen and policewomen, they have done, uh, which naturally deserve uh, credit, and they have restored uh, humanity. I think that that was what. Uh, Alam was trying to convey in his, uh, uh, you know, article today, whereby hum- some form of humanity and love, compassion has been restored through this small but meaningful acts like feeding strays. I mean, you know, seeing a uh, police officer uh, of a certain uh, faith who naturally, on normal circumstances, would not approach a dog now. Feeding a dog—that's that's a beautiful sight mm. uh, because it's it's all about compassion. Um, seeing you know, um, uh, regardless of skin color, regardless of creed, you know, we're just talking about human to human. Where a younger uh, policeman helps an elderly woman who didn't know she forgot uh, her home address, and they managed to track, uh, uh, got, get her location, and send her home. Now, th- th- this, are, th- this goes beyond skin color, this goes beyond religion, and I'm stressing that again and again because some of us sadly only see things uh, in that point of view, uh, in that racial and religious lens. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm so glad that we are seeing things as uh, human to human. And uh, thank you. Uh, as Alam said, Tabi uh, Spring to our cops, and uh, I think uh, I speak on behalf of Greg, Pearl, and, and the rest of us in 2213. And also on on your behalf, uh, Rashid, uh, we salute you for the the cops that seen uh, for you know such heartwarming moments. Yes, I mean uh, them and and especially the the frontliners, the other frontliners who are yeah. there, the army, yeah. the the healthcare workers uh, who course. are working you know day and night just to make sure that mm. this goes down. But you know, uh, on on that note, thank you very much, Greg. I hope I hope you get to eat something <laughs> later to calm down as well. Your, your blood pressure might. Get even higher late, later in the week. Yeah. We we obviously <laughs> will will await for the news of whether we're going to be uh, extended for another two weeks. But uh, I'm not going to assume anything. Uh, otherwise, you know, thank you very much. Uh, of course, we'd like to thank uh, Amnik for uh, Harish and I um, um, apparel. You've got a very nice 2213 shirt, a t-shirt there. So anyone wants to to purchase it, do let them know. <laughs> Go on the website and 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 and. Don't abuse them because you might not get one. Um, and thank <laughs> and thank you guys. Um, we hope to have uh, some Always. more positive news um, for for next week as well. But uh, from Greg, Harish, and myself, thank you very much. You've been watching the RSS with HD Extended. <laughs>